Uh, on the play where Luca blew up the lob to Rudy Gobert, uh, what have you seen from him as a low defender throughout this postseason run? Yeah, I think uh, it was a heck of a play um, for Luca. Um, just understanding the tendencies, his basketball IQ, uh, to know what was going to take place there. Um, heck of a defensive uh, play. We always talk about his offense, but I think uh, you know this time of the year, he's, his defense is uh, definitely has improved. But again, um, coming up with the rebounds there, um, we had gave, gave up some offensive rebounds, but. Luca's defense is stopped there, and then being able to trust on the offensive end, um, I thought Kai got us off to a great start, and then Luca, you know, picked us up in the in the second half and uh, and made plays, scored the ball, and then and found guys. So it was a heck of a road win for us. But Luca again stepping up on the defensive end to help us uh, get the W. What was Kyrie doing in the first half, Jason, with the 24 points to kind of set the tone? He was being Kai, you know, just uh, picking his spots, uh, using, uh, you know, the different uh, places on the floor to attack. I thought he did a great job of helping everybody relax, uh, you know, on the offensive end. And then I thought defensively he was competing. Um, we had to do a better job of guarding the three-point line. But I thought Kai um, was big for us in that first half and got us off to a good start. And we were only down three. And we just felt like we didn't play well. There was a lot of talk about how tall they were, but you guys beat them on the boards tonight. Just talk about that a little bit. Oh, we're tall, too. <laughs> Everybody's tall these days. Uh, Kai's tall. Um, look, we, we have to do a better job of, of rebounding the ball. We can't give them second or third opportunities, and that would be something that we talk about tomorrow. But uh, we understand that they're crashing. They're, they're sending more than they normally do. So we, we have to be better at that and, and recognize that um, the physicality is something that we've talked about you know, all year, uh, of being able to be physical uh, when the shot goes up. So that's something that's an area we got to get better at. Um, but again, to be able to rebound the ball this time of the year is big for is big for any team, and so hopefully we can you know find a way to do that in game two. Uh, pretty quiet by Lucas Standards for three quarters. Then he went off in the fourth. What, what did you see that got him rolling in the fourth? Uh, maybe the rest early. Um, you know, just understanding uh, we're trying to keep those two under forty minutes, and uh, and and being able to to finish the the, the marathon. It's a series. Um, a lot of times we focus on just one game, but one thing leads to another. And so um, we, were, we had the luxury there to rest him uh, right before halftime. And knowing that the, the second half was going to be a fight, um, hopefully that helped him give him the opportunity to go there in the fourth and, and knock down the shots that he has uh, here all season. And then being able just to, to find the open guy, I thought he did a really good job tonight. And then stepping up to the free throw line, making his free throws. And you, you mentioned the three-point line. Uh, you know, you guys obviously packed the paint and only only got up four shots inside the arc. How much is that kind of a, you know, uh, so are you willing to, to give up 49 threes? Is that a concerning number if you're, you know, packing the paint and, uh, and, and taking away that part of the game? We got to take everything away. Um, that's just coach talk. Um, but seriously, I think when you look at, in this league, they're so talented. You're going to give up something. We got to be better at the three-point line. This wasn't uh, up to par. Uh, again, they they made a lot of corner threes. Uh, we have to be better in our rotations. Um, and then understanding uh, with the threes that they did make there in that first half, uh, no one panicked. There was just a lot of trust. And that's the, the great thing about our team is everyone trusts each other. No matter how bad or how good we're playing as a group, we continue to you know, keep pushing forward to find a way to win. And, and we did that this evening. Jason, you saw Ant get loose in the first two series. Just defensively, what is your game plan against him? You feel like you have the athletes that can stay in front of him and pack the paint and not sort of give him those straight line drives to the basket? He's talented. Uh, you just got to sometimes hope he misses. And it seemed like tonight he wasn't. Um, he He's able to shoot the you know three off the dribble. He's able to get to the rim. He's able to make plays for his teammates. Um, he had some turnovers there that he normally doesn't have. Um, but again, we're just trying to send as many bodies as we can and, and make it tough. Um, there's going to be battles where he's going to win some of them, and hopefully we can, you know, win some. And at the end of the day, you know, you just try to make it tough on him, and you tip your hat if he if he makes a play or if he scores. I mean, the last time you guys were in the conference finals, you were playing against a team that had won three championships to that point. 
this time you can make the argument you guys are the more experienced team or your two best players are the more experienced players. Do you think that played a part in the poise you guys played with late in the game tonight? Yeah, we're just, we're the underdogs, so we're just going to, you know, embrace that role and, and play and uh, and understand um, that's that's what we are. And, and, and on the road, we got to find a way to win. Um, it's now about adjustments. They're going to make some adjustments. Um, we're going to make some adjustments. And, again, um, their guys are going to step up. Conley's been in this situation. Gobert's been in this situation. So they have some guys over there that, that have played uh, and understand it's not just about one game, but it's about the series. And so for us, it's how can we get better for game two? Because this is, this is new for us. We don't win game one normally. So we've we got to go back and see um, how we did this. But we got to understand what's coming for game two. And and hopefully we'll be ready. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no. Do you really believe you guys are the underdog, or is that coach speak? That's media speak. (laughs) Jason, how much confidence can your team take from not playing well? You're talking about all the things that didn't go well tonight, and you still won this game on the road against a good team the way. Can you use that even to build even more and be ready to go for game two? Yeah, we have no choice. We got we got a game two here um, on Friday, and we have to go back and look at the things that um, hurt us, uh, and we have to be, we have to be better if we want to win. It's it's tough to win this time of the year, no matter who you're playing. Um, all four teams are good. Um, it's hard to win on the road, um, but we found our, ourselves to you know to be able to do that tonight um, but we still felt like we didn't play well but sometimes it's it's all right not to play well and find a way to win and that's just the character of this group in that locker room um, it's all about winning it's not no one's worried about stats triple doubles or uh, who has the most points uh, it's about the team and that's what makes this group special it seemed like uh, Minnesota came out with a defensive strategy that was almost the exact opposite of what you guys were looking at against Oklahoma City you know you guys shot they you guys shot four corner threes. You know, that was a big part of, of the previous series. How, how different was, was the approach and, and how it, have, you know, kind of affected the offensive goals for you guys? No, we're going to take whatever you give us. Uh, we we want to promote threes. They took the threes away. Um, when you have that many points in the paint against a team, uh, the number one team in defensively, um, we'll take it if that's what you're going to give us. And I thought the group uh, uh, pivot. Uh, nicely of understanding what was uh, being done on the floor by taking away the threes and uh, and taking the layups. I thought Kai was aggressive being uh, being able to get into the paint and Luca did the same. So uh, again, um, if that's the way that they're going to play us, then we got to be able to uh, eat up the paint and, and knock down the twos. And then on, on Luca's lob pass breakup, if, if he can jump that high defensively, does that mean that, that he has lob dunks and is on the offense they're going to be calling in plays? It's the Luca shoes. It's got to be the Luca shoes. Those are special shoes. Like MJ has special shoes. Luca has special shoes um, for his vertical. Um, I don't know what he did at the combine for his vertical, um, but I don't think he wants us to know. Oh, uh, well, he, he'll let it know. Uh, Brady did the 40-yard dash. That that was known. So um, when you look at what Luca, but it's just you know special players make special plays, and a lot of times it's not always on the offensive end. One more, guys, because Kyrie's ready to come. Thanks. Uh, Coach, I know they're like one of the top in defense, but how do you assess um, how your bigs did on the other end of the ball? Yeah, I, th- I thought the uh, the bigs did a good job. There's some um, areas that we got to get better at, but again, I thought they did. A, they competed at a high level, understanding Minnesota is a, a, a team that puts a lot of pressure uh, with Gobert setting picks and his, his ability to roll and catch and finish or play make. And so uh, just I thought the bigs, the uh, the live did great, Gaff did great, but there's there's room to improve. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.